Hi, everybody. This is Carolina Millan. Welcome to a new episode of Beyond the Hustle. And I'm very excited today. I have a guest who is very special, someone I admire a lot, someone I've been following for quite a few years now, Mr. Jeff Walker. How are you, Jeff? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for accepting the invitation. I'm super thrilled that you're here. Yeah, Carolina, you've got a guitar in the back. In yeah, the background, I can see. I do. I've got one right. I got one right here. And you can look at the greatest guitarist in the world, and they started off as a beginner. Hmm? Who's who's the greatest guitarist that like that you love? I mean, oh, that I love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, from this British band called Muse. Um, his name is mm -hmm. Matt Bellamy. I love him. And he started as a complete beginner yeah. that had to learn the E minor chord just like everyone else. And, and so, you know, no one starts off as an expert. No one, a lot of people are like, Jeff, you know, I'd like to do one of those launches, but I don't have a list. Oh, yeah. I don't have anyone following me. I'm like, no one was born with a list. Absolutely no one. Not one single person was born with a list. Everyone started with their first subscriber. Or they're like, Jeff, I, everyone who was one of those launches, I don't have a product. I don't have a service. I don't have an offering. I don't have a membership site. I don't have an online course. Mm. No one starts with any of that. Everyone starts somewhere. I mean, it's just like, if you want to feel better about yourself, like go to YouTube and you go to the, the person who has the greatest channel that you follow. It's just like an, you know, an amazing influencer, huge following. And you can go into YouTube and you can just click on, go to their channel and click on videos. And you can see all their videos and then click on sort by, and it'll sort by date. You can sort by date and you can go back and look at their first video. And they looked like an absolute clown. Yeah. I, they were horrible on video. Absolutely. Everyone starts that way. <laughs> Everyone starts that way. That's the way life works. Absolutely. I know. I've done that before. And even if people go to my channel, like my first videos are really bad, bad lighting, bad audio, everything's bad. But you keep going. You know, you just you right. keep going. <laughs> right. I love that. Now. What would you say, like, I know we can find more in, in this book and, of course, the new version. And, but... here's, the, and here's the new one. Don't get, yeah. Make sure you get the new. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get this. One. Or you can get it, too, for collectors, you know. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's the other one, the one you want to get. We're going to put the link, of course, in the description so people get the new one. Um, but what would you say is like a basic, like super basic framework people can follow if they're going to do their first launch or their, their first seed launch, you know, for the people who have very few followers, it's the first time, what would be the basic framework, the first few steps to follow? Yeah, well, I mean, if you're just starting out, the, the, there's one process I teach called the seed launch. And this mm -hmm. is how you start out just absolutely from nothing. And you will, it's, you'll, you'll need some level of subscribers you know, for the seed launch, I recommend getting two to 300 subscribers. Good. And, you know, that's a matter of publishing. That's the way we all get followers is we publish. You can publish on social. Anyone can be a publisher on social within minutes mm -hmm. with your phone. And you gradually, you, you put out, val, you know, value videos, videos or, or a content. It doesn't have to be videos, but content that, that delivers value. You drive them into what we call a squeeze page or an opt-in page where you offer something for free. And generally in my world, what you're offering for free is some form of a workshop, a free workshop or a master class. And what that is, is that's your pre-launch content. And that pre-launch content is valuable content that will lead people into wanting to get your product. And there's a process we take people through generally it's three pieces of pre-launch content. Often in the seed launch, we'll con condense that down into one piece of pre-launch content. But you take people through a, a process of showing the opportunity, an opportunity for them where they can change their life, where they can they can reduce pain in their life or increase pleasure. The first version of your course doesn't have to be like the super final polished version, but you use those first few people that came in through the seed launch to improve the product, right? Yeah. Yeah. No one's first course is great. Yeah. 
but people appreciate being part of the beginning of something. Mm. So when it's interactive and you deliver it live and you could do it, you know, back in the day, I, I delivered it on like what they call it a telephone bridge line, which was basically <laughs> everyone can listen. It was a phone call that everyone could listen in on. That was the technology back in. There was no, there was no webinar platform or no. not even Skype. <laughs> no. no, it was like well, they call them teleseminar. So it was webinar without any video, any any visual, you know, component. And but now you can do it via webinar. You can do it via Skype. You can do it via Zoom. You can do it, you know, any number of Facebook Live, and and people don't expect you to be perfect when it's a live broadcast, when it's a live training, they don't, no one expects perfection out of live. That's the beauty of live. And they get to interact with you. And so the first version doesn't have to be great because it's, it's live and you're, you're just, it's like, it's like going into a classroom and you're not expecting the teacher to be like perfect, never no editing needed. It's just, it's a completely different experience, but that's how you create your first product, your first offer. And you go from there. Excellent. I love that. So talking about, about, about the book, I wish I already had the new one, but I still have this one. I'll get it soon. <laughs> um, what can we expect from these, from the updated version? I'm sure like, yeah. I think this one came out in 2014, maybe 13. Right. Yep. Yeah. So what has happened the past seven, eight years? Um, what, how have you incorporated, you know, what, what's new? Right. What's the biggest takeaway? Tell us about the book. Yeah, well, a lot, a lot has changed, obviously. <laughs> the core formula is the same and will continue to be the same because it's based on yeah. human psychology. You know, all these mental triggers, uh, it's built on story, it's built on sequence. These are things that aren't going to go away. However, a lot has changed. So, for instance, live launches, this idea of doing a launch where your pre-launch content is actually live broadcasts. There's a full chapter on that. That's been a game changer. It's not... The perfect answer for everyone, but for a lot of people, it's just easier to get on live and start teaching, start training. And so live launch has been a huge innovation. Paid traffic was in, you know, pretty early days back in 14. So the ability to, to, to spend money to drive people, well, there's two, two big, there's a big dichotomy in paid traffic. There's cold traffic and there's warm traffic. And cold traffic is uh, is basically every it, cold. Cold is anyone who hasn't heard of you yet. They have they're not following you on social. They're not on your email list. Warm is they know who you are. They are already on your email list. They already they already follow you. And so, two wildly different things. So cold tra- driving cold traffic into your launch is basically running ads into your pre launch content to build your following, build your list. And warm traffic is taking the people that you already have on your list and then driving them back to your pre-launch content, driving them into your into your offer, um, driving them into your cart close. We have this cart open, cart close. There's a lot of terminology here in the whole formula. But warm traffic is basically reinforcing the messaging you're doing with your email and your social. And warm traffic in launches is just, it, it, it just works. It just plain works. The return on investment is always, I mean, it's a scary word to say, but it, it's, it's as sure a thing as you can get in the world of business. Mm. Um, especially like when you get into your open cart. And so you have this pre-launch phase, and then you've got the open cart phase. Pre-launch is where you're de- delivering value ahead of time. Open cart is, okay, now we're actually starting to take orders. And there's this defined open cart period. And, you know, warm traffic during open cart is incredibly powerful. Now, cold traffic is really, it's, I think of it as a bit more of an advanced strategy, but that's you driving traffic. It could be, it could be Facebook, it could be Instagram, it could be YouTube, it could be Google, and driving people into your pre-launch content to build your list. And that one isn't, you know, quite the slam dunk that warm traffic it is but it's the way that you really grow your business in a big way. 
Um, and then, of course, social media was a thing in 2014, but it isn't what it is these days. It's even bigger. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's so much. It's, it's crazy. And so using social within your launches, super, super powerful. And, you know, in these days, like I, I talked earlier about email lists and how powerful they are. And they are. They're incredibly powerful. They're like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> they are literally the best thing ever. There's probably some people watching who are just like, Email still works, and I'm like the only only people that do, that question whether email works is the people that don't have an email list. Exactly, glad you said it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because when you have an email list and you push the send button, and you can just see that volume of traffic come in, and you can watch it in your stats, you can just see that traffic come pouring in. You see the sales come pouring in. Yeah, the only people who don't believe in email are the people that don't have an email list. Now, that being said, email, when you look at your, at your entire audience as, as and whether they react to your email or whether they react to your social, it doesn't matter, but you use those in concert together, incredibly powerful, incredibly powerful. So your social is reinforcing whatever your email is. Um, so whole chapter on using social within launches, a whole chapter using paid traffic within launches. And then that open cart, and I know I'm going on and on and on and on, here, but that open cart period um, used to be um, a lot simpler. Just be you know, open cart, you send some emails and you close cart. Now that has become an entire process where you're, you're delivering content through that. Usually it's a five to seven day period. You're delivering extra content through, during that time. You're often doing lives. You're off, you might be doing an extra video. And so it's what I call the art of the open cart. And really optimizing that open cart period uh, is, is a huge part. And also the, all throughout the book, it was refreshed all the way through. But so those are some of, the, some of the real key pieces that were added. I, and I think it's actually, it's like a, it's, it's an extra, it's like a hundred pages longer. Just get out there, you know, show it. People will start coming slowly, but surely. To a very small audience, because you'll start off with a super small audience. And, you know, it'd be like talking to your friend, you know, or it could be the, the zero people, literally. That's where we, you know, I start off with 17 people, you know, seven, 17 friends. And there you yeah, go. There you go. And most people expect on their first live to have hundreds of people or something. So I love that you say this because, you know, even if it's zero people, you're practicing. Right. right. Yeah. Amazing. So I know we're running out of time. So Jeff, I, I wanted to thank you so much for the, the top quality content you provided today. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to hear your thoughts about this, the Latin American uh, market, because PLF is now in Spanish. They're actually mm -hmm. launching it for the second time in like next month. Um, how do you see the the South American or Hispanic in general markets? Do you see them growing? Are you are you guys paying attention over here? Oh yeah, no, super excited. I mean, it's amazing how it's grown. And so Luis Carlos, um, he you know he initially the first launch. I don't know if you know this, but the yeah. first launch was going to be in, was it April of 2020? And so the timing, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> April 2020 seems like a decade ago now, but I know. I know the, world, the world was falling apart in April, 2020. So he had to postpone that uh, and postpone it several months. But, you know, he's he's been a, you know, boy, I've known Luis now six years or something like that six, seven years. He's mm -hmm. been a big part of my world here, the, the English speaking. He's been coming up to the States. He's been out to my my secret headquarters here in Durango, Colorado, um, and gotten to know him really, really well. And, and, you know, what he's been able to do just in the last year in Latin America with bringing the formula there has just been incredible. And the growth is just incredible. And some of the, some of the bigger launches are just amazing. Just the, the, the sheer volume. Um, so that market is just red hot, just super excited about it. 
Awesome. Yeah. So you guys, if you're watching this and, you, and you're bilingual or you speak Spanish, <laughs> make sure you also take a look at, at the Spanish uh, PLF. It's uh, amazing. So Jeff, thank you again so much. Where can people find you? Where can they, where, where can they get the book? I'm still, I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, probably okay. Amazon and, and your website. Yep. You can get the book at Amazon or pretty much any other bookseller. But if you go to thelaunchbook.com, thelaunchbook.com, then um, we've got those extra bonuses that Carolina mentioned. And um, so, yeah, go there and you'll end up still getting the book through Amazon or wherever. Um, but uh, but it, you know, there's also a place you can put in and register for all your extra bonuses that you'll get along with the book. So go to the launchbook.com. The launchbook.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. And I look forward to seeing you again. I, I actually met you very briefly in 2015 when you won Russell Brunson's Ferrari. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get to take a picture with you, but it was really cool. That, that, that's when I when I first saw you in person. I hope to see you again at, at, a, at an event someday. <laughs> well, thank you. It was great talking to you. Thank you, Jeff.